Hey guys, time for another episode of Raid 101. Today is the second part of our series on buffs and debuffs, and the topic's going to be an interesting one. Crowd control. First things first, crowd control, or CC, effects are debuffs that, in one way or another, cripple the enemy champion's ability to act. These debuffs are useful to an extent in PvE content, especially in the campaign in the Doom Tower, but bosses are immune to most CC effects. For that reason alone, PvP is where these debuffs truly shine. Making one or more enemy champions skip a critical turn can easily turn the tide of the fight, but there are also other ways to ruin your opponent's day. Let's start with the most straightforward CC debuff, Stun. It does pretty much what you'd expect, the target champions skip their turn for as long as they have this debuff. They actually can't act at all, they won't counterattack or join in team attacks either. This is the first of our hard crowd control debuffs, which stop you from doing anything at all. Usually this lasts just one turn, but there are some devastating skills that can stun for longer. One thing to keep in mind is that cooldowns do not refresh while the champion is stunned. So, stun doesn't just prevent a champion from acting for a turn, it also delays their ability to use more powerful skills. Next up is Freeze. Like stun, it makes the target skip their turn, and their skill cooldowns don't tick down. What makes Freeze different from stun is that a frozen champion only takes 75% of all incoming damage, so they're stuck, but they take less damage. Not as powerful as stun, as debuffs go, but still extremely useful. Now, Sleep is also just like Stun and Freeze, skips the turn, doesn't refresh cooldowns, etc. But in the case of Sleep, any incoming damage will immediately remove the debuff. I mean, if a huge orc smacked you with a club, you'd probably wake up too. That means you'll need to watch those AoE attacks as well as debuffs that deal damage. We'll get to them in another video. But if you can manage your damage output, Sleep can be a critical save when you need it most. Here we get into our soft crowd control skills, which don't stop the champion from acting, but severely limit the ability to act effectively. For example, Provoke. With this debuff, your champion can enrage an enemy to the point of ignoring everything else and attacking them with their default skill. This doesn't affect the enemy's cooldowns, and your champion will still take damage, so keep that in mind. But Provoke is still a useful tool to keep the enemy away from squishier targets, or to stop them from using a skill that provides the enemy team with powerful buffs. Some champions are just so spooky that enemies are too busy shaking in their boots to act. Like some other debuffs, fear comes in two tiers. Fear and true fear. When a champion under either of these attempts to use an active skill, there's a 50% chance of skipping a turn instead. And if that's true fear, that skill goes on cooldown as if it's been used. Just like stun, freeze, and sleep, fear also affects counterattacks and team attacks, so you can end up preventing a lot of damage with a good fear debuff. Alright, at this point you might have noticed a pattern. Most CC debuffs are focused on preventing a champion from using anything but their default skills. Well, block active skills get straight to the point. Block active skills will prevent a champion from using any active skill with a cooldown attached, which is basically all of them except for their default skill. It doesn't dictate who they target though, so if their default skill is killer, it won't save you much. Now, this debuff doesn't affect the cooldowns on those skills, so while enemy champions might not be able to use them, they'll still be working down their cooldowns in the meantime. It's best to save your block active skills debuffs for when the enemy is about to unleash their most devastating attacks. Alright, this is almost not even a CC skill at this point, but that doesn't mean it can't be a game changer. Block passive skills is only available to a single champion, who is super hard to get. Ramantu Drake's Blood it does what it says on the tin. It stops passive skills from working. Now, not every champion has passive skills, but those who do, oh, they suffer from this one. Phew. That's quite a few debuffs to keep in mind. Hope you guys found this video useful. Hit like and subscribe. We'll be back soon enough.